Hi, my name is Vishal. In this video, we will see the mesh distribution type in the mesh network of distribute node. So for that, I need a mesh here. Uh, so I'm creating a polygon sphere. This is the mesh which I'm, I want to scatter the objects on top of. And uh, also, uh, I'll just uh, use this option called quick selection set. So I'm just selecting few of the faces. And then I go to the create and then use this quick selection set here. And then you can name anything uh, to the set. Like I'll just name it as top set. And then you could see that it will give me a top set on the top side here. Okay. Now I just create a cube which uh, I'm going to scatter uh, with the mesh network. So I go to the mesh and create mesh network. And in the mesh network, I go to the attribute editor and then change the distribute type to the mesh. Now I need to connect a input mesh here and here also I need to connect a quick selection set. Uh, so uh, here to connect the mesh, uh, the very simple method could be just take this sphere using middle mouse drag and drop there. And then we have the top set which is a quick selection set drop that one on the selection set here uh, you remember that I've selected a few of the faces on the top here okay now let's uh, come into the options here we have the points now if you see the points here number of points is uh, uh, 100 uh, when I say flood mesh here it, it's uh, you know it's completely flooding the mesh here with uh, the geometry it's it's really not considering how many points should I really apply like 24 1 2 3 4 like 24 I don't want I want completely the geometry to be flood with that here okay so uh, we have uh, different types here one is the scatter okay A scatter is uh, it scatters the mesh there completely on the model and uh, I'm, I'm just seeing if uh, the, the option is uh, logged here uh, let me choose vertex uh, now it is unlocked now scatter now I should see uh, I can increase the scatter it was not refreshing I can say so what it is doing is it is scattering the model uh, throughout the surface here. Let's say if I deform this geometry uh, Still you should see the scattering on the model there Okay, so how many uh, pieces should be scattered on the top can be seen here uh, with the points um, and uh, We have the push along normals will push the uh, geometry along the normals which is very uh, good in itself in creating uh, some animated effects of certain shapes uh, we have calculate rotation which is uh, rotating the object here um, so we are able to do that uh, we have uh, use up vector and we can control which vector to be facing on which side definitely uh, this model does not make you understand uh, in which direction uh, the orientation is happening so I just uh, uh, take another piece of model there and then work on this so you should able to see here I've got a model which has got XYZ arrows um, and then we got the sphere which is uh, on which we want to scatter so select the model and then create the mesh network again and then in the mesh I'll choose the mesh type to mesh and then connect the sphere and then um, okay let's scatter it and you should see uh, the the green color arrows are facing in the normal direction right so if I say up vector and then change X Uh, so up vector is not really controlling the axis as such 
uh, I mean I'm talking about the Y here so it's only uh, controlling the orientation of the uh, X and Z here it's not really controlling the other axis is there in this no matter you picked uh, uh, whether X axis or whether you picked uh, the Z axis it's not really caring it's just uh, showing up uh, the Y um, yeah I'm just uh, checking if, if the refresh is uh, really creating problem there okay uh, so we have the scatter we have the vertex now vertex uh, makes um, the model to be scattered on the vertex points precisely you should be able to see that uh, so if you could see even it, it it's very good to model something like a brush or something if you could see or any thorn based weapon um, pointer or sharp sharp point uh, on a model on a weapon yeah this should really help um, so random vertex will not uh, put the instances on the ID basis like point to, uh, first vertex second vertex third vertex and so on it's randomly throwing the points uh, comparing to uh, like in the serial how it was uh, like putting the points there uh, it's it's randomly scattering the points there throughout the surface but it's putting on the vertex now this will put on the face here okay uh, again you got random face center then we have a voxel which is uh, uh, filling the whole shape with uh, uh, the the instances a voxel is a 3d container basically um, it's a 3d elementary unit of um, a container so it's filling that way component selection set as I have not selected any component selection set it's not working but if I drop that it will generally create on that particular selection set uh, we have uh, on edges it's it's putting on specifically edges there now you got the Z here a random edge and it will scatter throughout the UV space based on the UV unwrapping you have done um, and uh, whatever you were doing earlier you can basically control from here uh, let's say if I am in the vertex face and edge so let me select uh, the face center and then you should see the scale multiplier here so you can able to control the scale there and then if I choose this to um, edge again we can choose at the start of the edge end of the edge or in the middle of the edge okay so this is the uh, mesh type of distribution type in the mesh network uh, 